Yo, that's that's disrespect to the highest level. Bring it back, 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 bring it, bring it back. What up, YouTube? What up, Reloaded? What up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please do not forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification, of course. And for all you new people watching, welcome to the channel. I hope you subscribe. And to help you new guys out, um, you, you're going to get an additional five seconds. You heard me. Five seconds to hit the subscribe. Countdown starts right now. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see this. Now, if you did subscribe, thank you very much. If you did not, thank you as well. As long as you're watching the videos and enjoying my videos, that's all that matters, of course. Um, this is uh, me reacting to a blogger called DJ Academics, one of my favorite bloggers, a very big YouTuber. Um, he's heavy in the music scene. <clears throat> he's highly respected as well, but he has a lot of enemies as well. But he's very comedic. He's very funny. Um, he has no filter. If you say something about him, he will go at you. He will violate you. Um, he's just entertaining. I like him. Um, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, this is about Hassan, Cam Hassan, Hassan Campbell turns up on Jay Prince over takeoff incident. Now, um, before we get into the video, I have to explain something real quick. Um, as you, some of y'all might know, one third of the Migos, rap group Migos, takeoff died November the 1st, 2022. And, um, Everybody blames the Prince family. The Prince family is a legendary family because um, they're one of the pioneers of the hip hop scene. In the, they're one of the pioneers when it comes to hip hop, um, and they they live in Texas. And take off the group Migos. Two third of the Migos was with the Prince family uh, that evening during the incident, and sadly, take off passed away. May God rest. So. Um, so now everyone is mad at the Prince family and they're trying to, the Prince family is trying to protect themselves. Um, yeah. So we have another YouTuber called Hassan Campbell who is, uh, against the Prince family and he's trying to disrespect the Prince family as much as he can. So this is a very interesting, funny topic. It's a serious topic, but funny as well. So without further ado, I'm not going to hold you guys up. Let's just dive right in and see what Hassan Campbell has to say about the Prince family. Get it. The bottom line to it is, Jay Prince, let me talk to you, my nigga. I don't respect you. I stopped respecting you a long time ago. But when you took that young boy up under your camp and decided to sit up there and say, I don't know the situation with that paperwork. I don't know how that paperwork came about. I don't know the caliber of the nigga of that paperwork. But he came in, he checked in in your house. Mob ties, right? Fuck your mob ties. Ah! Fuck your mother. And everything that gave birth to you, you bitch ass nigga. I don't respect you because you had a child that wasn't a street nigga. Hold on. What? Yo, that's that's disrespect to the highest level. Please bring your God damn. Mob ties, right? Fuck your mob ties. Fuck your mother. Oh, my God. And everything that gave birth to you, you bitch ass oh nigga. Oh, my God. I don't respect you because you had a child that wasn't a street nigga. Takeoff was a baby. He died in your camp. When I go outside and I'm amongst my niggas. Jay Prince is a powerful nigga. Huh? So Jay Prince could suck a... <laughs> listen, I, I want you to understand, son. Jay Prince... <laughs> To suck a soft dick, a hard dick, a long dick, a small dick. I don't give a fuck about Jay Prince. He can suck any dick. And that's coming from Hassan Campbell. You a bitch ass. Yo, listen. I wouldn't say that, Hassan Campbell. I understand the situation, but you are crossing a line. And, it, and you're crossing a dangerous line. Please be careful, man. Nigga, you a bitch ass nigga. I will slap the shit out of your ass, bro. I will bitch smack the shit out of your afro, your fucking son. When Wallo sat up there and said, some of you niggas was raised, your son was raised with a silver spoon in his mouth. The only thing Wallo bitch ass didn't understand, the only thing Wallo bitch ass didn't understand when he said that, I know Jay Prince Jr., no, he is his father's child. 
You got respect no, I'm for not Wilo finished Gilly, though. Because when Jay Prince Jr. This is where y'all jump in. Like, when Jay, hold on, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. They're going to get. The oh, my God. Oh, hold up, man. Let me get. Let me get. Oh, my God. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got to close the blinds. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, 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 hold up. Now, let's get into this. Yeah, because what they say, hold up. My niggas, yeah, my niggas is not accountable for what I say. Give me another camera. I don't know. My niggas is not accountable for what I say. So what I'm saying is, so what I'm saying, so what I'm saying is, right? Jay Prince, right? You let that innocent boy, right? My bro, my brother, my brothers, right? Third floor. Third floor. J Prince, you call Shorty a, a, a rat, right? Cause y'all told, cause y'all blew that little nigga brains out. Yo, he is violating him. What? That was an innocent kid. An innocent kid. You so you called him. Allegedly, allegedly. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're not putting nothing on hold, nobody. Hold up, hold up. We're not putting nothing on nobody. No, no, no. The allegedly. tape, the tape said what they said. Fuck that. The tape showed your bastard son when the girl was crying. <laughs> Yo, the witness, listen, the courts is the courts. And they said, it's three minutes, nigga. The girl said, J. Prince Jr., what do you want me to do with the body? He said, leave that nigga. That's what you felt about the little nigga? Conviction, nigga. It's on the internet. So what I'm saying to you is, right, sometimes I wish I could go back to me. I would slap the fucking afro off of J. Prince with that bullshit that he's talking. Like, who you talking to? <laughs> nigga, we're New York niggas. Who you talking to? Nah, but but I think he's really doing it for the camera, though. I, I think he's... But it, he's entertaining. It gets views. It, it, I get it, but I'd be I'd be cautious. I wouldn't just say those type of stuff, man. That's that's extreme, but... Take the what and leave the, the what? Hi, hi, hi. Take Come the on. what and leave the, the what? Hold on, pop, Hold on. Pop, pop. Hold up. That nigga Man. set up there saying, hold up. He set up there saying, yo, hold up. Jay hold Prince on. set up there saying, listen, I'm going to tell y'all what he did, right? I drink to that. It's if you bad. ever, hold up, hold up, brothers, brothers, right? I drink to that. You ever caught your wife cheating? Then told the bitch, it's your fault I cheated on you. <laughs> nah. I cheated on you because you ain't washed the dishes. Oh, she caught you cheating. Right. No, 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 no. Yeah. Jay That's Prince, right. what he did yeah. was equivalent to... He telling everybody on the internet, all the real niggas, whoever that nigga was that made the statement is a rat. We don't even know if he's a civilian. All right, pop. Hold up one second. I'm about to be finished. We don't even know if he's a civilian. We don't know what happened. But what we do know is, the street niggas know is, you took a nigga into your house that you said was your son's best friend, and then his nephew died there, and instead of you sitting up there saying, yo, whatever I can do to take care of the family... And, 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 and end this tragic, you sitting up there deflecting, calling the nigga a rat, when the reality of it is, yes, certain niggas are rats, but we ain't going to take, take away the fact that mm. you set a nigga up, lined the nigga up, left the nigga in your fucking house, mm. he died in your kitchen, and you sat up there and still ate spaghetti like it was nothing. Mm. Nigga, you super foul. Mm. Yo, um, it's a very tragic story, a uh, very intense story. Um, I sympathize with the family. My heart goes out to the family of Takeoff, the loved ones of Takeoff. Um, it's, it's, it's harsh, but I, this is DJ Academics. And I love, big shout out to Hassan Campbell. I'm a big fan of him as well. Um, let me know what you think of the video, of course. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification. Smash it. Thank you for watching. This is Reloaded Gang, and I will see you next time. Bring it back. Peace.